Today we will learn about the standard form of rational numbers and their representation on the number line. In the previous video, we learned that if a number can be represented as p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero, then such a number is called a rational number. We denote them by capital Q. In this video, we will take the understanding of rational numbers further by understanding how to get the standard form of rational numbers and how to represent them on the number line. So let's first understand how to get the standard form of rational numbers. There are two rational numbers here. One is minus 2 by 5 and the other is 12 by minus 18. Denominator of the first number is a positive integer. Further, ignoring the negative sign, there is no common factor other than 1 in the numerator and the denominator. Similarly, if every rational number has a positive integer as the denominator and the numerator and denominator have only 1 as a common factor, then such a rational number is in its standard form. It is the same as the simplest form of a fraction. Can you tell whether the second rational number is also in its standard form? Think. Absolutely right. The denominator of this number is not positive and the factors of its numerator and denominator have common factors 1 as well as 2 and 3. Therefore, 12 by minus 18 is not in its standard form. If we have to convert it to its standard form, then first we have to turn the denominator positive. Can you tell how could this be done? Absolutely right. We will multiply both the numerator and denominator of this rational number by minus 1. By doing so, it will keep the value of the number the same, but the denominator will definitely become positive. Now we ignore the sign of the numerator and denominator to get the HCF. For this, we will perform the prime factorization of 12 and 18. By multiplying their common factors, we get their HCF as 6. Now we divide both 12 and 18 with the HCF 6 by which we get the rational number minus 2 by 3. This is the standard form of 12 by minus 18. Let us now see how rational numbers are represented on the number line. Suppose we have to represent minus 3 by 8 on the number line. We'll do this as follows. First, we will draw a number line and mark it with a point 0. Positive integers are marked on the right side of 0 and negative integers are marked on the left side. Can you tell me in which direction of 0 will we place minus 3 by 8? Absolutely right. Since minus 3 by 8 is a negative rational number, we will place it to the left of 0. If we compare the numerator and denominator without the sign, it shows that the numerator is smaller than the denominator. That is, the distance is less than 1 unit. So we can say that the position of minus 3 by 8 will be between 0 and minus 1. Now we see that this rational number's denominator is 8. Therefore, we will divide distance between 0 and minus 1 into 8 equal parts. The denominator of the rational number is minus 3. Here the minus sign shows that we have to move to the left of 0 and 3 shows that we have to move 3 steps. In this way, we will move 3 steps to the left of 0 for minus 3. When we do this, the point that we will reach will be minus 3 by 8. This is how we represent minus 3 by 8 on the number line. Let us understand this with another example. Suppose we have to represent 27 by minus 12 on the number line. We will do this as follows. Here we see that the denominator of this rational number is not a positive integer. So first we will multiply both its numerator and denominator by minus 1 and convert it into rational number with equal values whose denominator will be a positive integer. On doing so, we will get the rational number minus 27 by 12. To express this on the number line, we will draw a number line as we did earlier since minus 27 by 12 is a negative rational number, its position will be to the left of 0. Now we will express minus 27 by 12 in mixed form 
as minus 2 and 3 by 12. By looking at it, can you guess the position of minus 2, 3 by 12 on the number line? Think. Absolutely right. The position of minus 2, 3 by 12 will come to the left of minus 2 but to the right of minus 3. That is, it will come between minus 2 and minus 3. To get the exact point, we will divide the distance from minus 2 to minus 3 into 12 equal parts. And since the numerator is 3, we will take 3 steps to the left of minus 2. We will mark the final point as minus 2, 3 by 12 or minus 27 by 12 or 27 by minus 12. With this, you must have now understood how we can obtain the standard form of rational numbers and how we represent them on the number line. So today, we have learned the standard form of rational numbers and their representation on the number line. In the next video, we will learn it better with some examples.